If we consider the following reaction, um, the graph is of the amount of SO3, so in other words, the amount of product is plotted against time as shown below. To start with, they're going to put 8 moles of SO2, so I'm going to just kind of rice it down here. Um, we'll put a volume and a concentration over there. So the ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 2. And I'm going to put 8 moles in over there. And I don't know how much of the oxygen is placed in a 2 decimeter cubed container. It's all gases, so it's the same. And sealed at a specific temperature at equilibrium, there are 6 moles of SO3. Remember, there is a link between the consumed of the reactants and the equilibrium of the products. So 2 is to 1 is to 2 is the same as 6 is to 3 is to 6. 8 minus 6 is going to be equal to 2. X minus 3. And we land up with um, them saying that the Kc value is 9. Calculate X and therefore the initial that which is the initial amount. So I'm going to simply go work out these concentrations and 2 over 2 is 1. 6 over 2 is 3, and this is x minus 3 over 2. I now go Kc is equal to concentration of products, SO3, raised to the power of the coefficient, divided by concentration of reactants, raised to the coefficient, and that's O2. Substitute in all the values, so it's 3 squared over and we know that KC is 9, by the way. They've told me that over here. And then I'm going to go that this is... Um, hang on, sorry. SO3, yes. SO3 is the 3. Then I've got SO2, which is 1 squared. And then I have got X minus 3 over 2 down here. So that's going to be equal to 9. And then 9 over x minus 3 over 2, which is the same as divided by x minus 3 over 2. And that is the same, by the way, as timesing by 2 over x minus 3. So what I'm left with is 9 is equal to 18 over x minus 3. Cross multiply that and I'm going to land up with 9x minus 27 is equal to 18. Take out the common 9 that's in everything and we land up with x minus 3 is equal to 2 and x is therefore equal to 5. Next one, a mixture of 5 moles. So if I rise this, I'm going to say 5 moles of hydrogen, 10 moles of iodine were placed in a 5 decimeter cubed container, and they're allowed to reach equilibrium. The equation at equilibrium, the concentration of HI is 1,88, and they would like to know what Kc is. Remember, there is a link over here. So we have got 1 is to 1 is to 2, as 1,88 is 2. 0, 0,94 and 0, 0,94 take away from there and we land up with 5 minus 0, 0,94 which is going to be equal to 4,06 10 is going to be 9,06 each case we need to divide by 5 so you get all of the concentrations and then you go Kc is equal to the concentration of the products raised to the power of the coefficient Check that they're all gases. They are. Good news. And divide by the concentration of the reactants. And I am going to put in 0, 0,376 squared divided by 0, 0,812 multiplied by 1,812 and see what we get. And that is going to end up equaling 0, 0,096. Um, and that's the end of that one. Next Hydrogen and oxygen are enclosed together in a 200 centimeter cube container at a certain temperature. Um, we're allowed to follow the equilibrium. Here we go. It's an exothermic reaction. It started by doing the following, and they want us to calculate Kc again. So let's try and do a rice again. So rice, volume, concentration, 
the volume by the way was 0 comma 2 the ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 2 the 5, 0 comma 5 moles of the hydrogen and the oxygen in the container analysis of the equilibrium mixture shows that the mass of oxygen is going to be 9 comma 6 so let's work that out number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass which is equal to 9 comma 6 divided by the molar mass of oxygen remember oxygen is a diatomic gas so it's going to be 16 plus 16 which is equal to 32 and therefore when you divide that through you land up with 0 comma 3 moles so at equilibrium I am left with 0 comma 3 Remember, this is where my link is. So I'm going to say 0, 0,5, subtract 0, 0,2 would give me 0, 0,3. Remember that this is a subtraction. What I started with, less what I consumed is what I'm left with. So I'm going to say 1 is to 2 as 0, 0,2 is to 0, 0,4 is to 0, 0,4 over there. 0, 0,5 minus 0, 0,4 is going to be equal to 0, 0,1. And then we need to divide through for our concentrations. So you determine all the concentrations, now you need to work out Kc. Kc is the concentration of the products, as long as they are gases or aqueous, raised to the coefficient over the reactants, um, also raised to their coefficients, concentration. And therefore, we are going to go with 2 squared over 0, 0,5 squared 1,5. Punch that into the calculator and let's see what we get. And the answer comes out to be 5,33. That means that the forward reaction is favoured. How would a decrease in temperature affect the Kc of this reaction? Well, this is an exothermic reaction. So if I decrease temp, I am going to favour exo. And therefore, I'm going to favour the forward. And therefore, I am going to increase Kc.